first uh, you may use any wallet you want but let's use metamask for the purpose of this uh, class so this is my metamask so on the metamask i will switch to arbitrum chain so take note uh, the uh, the metamask that we have these days i mean the updated ones can allow you to add arbitrum chain automatically and how do you do that you just come to to this place you click on it you see the list of chains available so you you see them you can add click on add chains so which chain then uh you can see some you can add manually and this one's or uh, automatically we have aura phantom harmony calm and and so on add a network manually the one you can input yourself the network name the url chain id symbol and the explorer or url so that's how it works but let's leave that that's not where we are going i'm just showing us how to add the network of arbitrum so you see how it works you come here you come to add then you see arbitrum on the list but because arbitrum had been added already and that's why we are not seeing add here assuming it's there i'm just going to click on add so it's going to ask me that am i the one allowing this to be added to my uh, wallet then i say approve yes so do i want to switch to that one yes but this is i'm not working on aurora this time around so i dismiss i'm working on arbitrum then i need to have a gas there a gas fee uh, a gas fee to work with there are different places of exchanges on arbitrum chain we have the uniswap we have the sushi swap we have the one inch we have a uh, Camelot and so on, but let's make use of sushi swap because most of these uh, shit coin that we're seeing these days on Arbitrum they build on sushi swap. So as you arrive to sushi swap, you come to app dot s u s h i dot com app dot sushi dot com. So you can put slash swap. So it's going to take you there directly. If it is Uniswap, you can use app.uniswap.org So that's how uh, that works. So now, having arrived there, you need to connect your wallet. So you're going to approve that you are the one initiating this. So let's continue. Connect wallet. MetaMask. Okay. So next. So once that is connected, you need contract address of what you are trading. So how do we start? I have a token I want to trade. It's called Abigon. So I'm going to copy. I copy the contract address from their website, and I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to wait for it to search based on the chain that I am. So most of the time, take note. You will you you will paste this, and it will not bring out anything. The reason why it's always like that is because the network is either not strong or you are not on the right chain like this take note of this this is arbitrum logo if i click on it it will give me options of other chains for that i want but the one i am staying currently is arbitrum you can see the logo so let me try that again that's how it takes time in loading so you may need to refresh i'm going to run that again okay so it works this time around take note so i'll be gone it has brought it out so sometimes you have to refresh you have to refresh so let's say we're done refreshing now so i'm going to import it so then i'm going to uh, you know put in the amount i want to buy i just need a dollar a dollar what so So a dollar worth of Abigon. Okay, so it says unexpected gas issue. When you see that, what it simply means is because we are trading a sheet coin, you have to use a higher slippage. So come to this settings, then you change the slippage, else it will not work. So most of the time we use eight, sometimes we use five, sometimes we use fifteen, and sometimes. Uh, on the worst side, the, the max you can touch is 49, but I believe 5 should work for buying and 8 should work for selling. Ok, 
okay this is working now so i have enough gas to approve it okay so that's how it goes so it's done so that's it so you can add it if you want this is not part of the trading but it just helps you to see what you are holding so you can click on it to save it on your metamask so that you'll be able to see the amount of units of sort that you have so i'm adding the token so it's going to show on my metamask now i'll show you so come to assets so you can see abigon so i'm holding 12,483 abigon with less than a dollar so that's just how to do it and if you want to trade back it's just the other way around click on this arrow and abigon will come up and the ethereum will come down so that you want to sell it back so i can click on this so it's showing me 91 cents okay so you can approve if you want so that you can have it readily for transaction so once you approve you will not need to approve once again once you are just ready to sell off maybe there's a, there's a huge pump and you need to sell you just sell immediately so you can approve readily but i don't i don't have that speed to approve that now so that is how trading on arbitron works you can also use uniswap app.uniswap.org it doesn't mean you'll be able to trade on switchy swap for every token it depends on where the developer uh, added the liquidity so that is how it uh, works so you can just do your trading here and paste but i'm sure there's no liquidity for abigon here so the value you see uniswap is very fast it brought out the identity